this is like, as you play through in the key of G, calling out the notes. Um, oh. So so then you can think of them. I I can I can call them out going forwards, and and then trying to go backwards calling them out because that's a little bit harder to say the alphabet backwards. So, but really going slowly and thinking G, A, B, C, D, E. And usually we have that G, A, B, C, D, E. We can, we can easily get there. But then when we come over here, every student, when they come to this note right here, they go, uh, and it's F sharp because G has only one sharp in it. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And you're like, oh, okay, so that's a G. Think about that. That's the second fret marker on the D string. You know, everybody forgets about the D and G string, like the notes on it. Okay? So, so it's because we don't base a whole lot of chords off of those st strings generally. So, at least in my experience, I'm, you know, I'm limited, but, but like, you have F sharp, G, A. So... As you're doing that, think about the notes we have there. G, A, B. That's weird. We don't ever think about that. Okay. B, C. Okay. D. E. That's easy because we always go E. E. F sharp. Okay. F sharp. We'll forget that that's a sharp. Okay. And then G. A, B, C. So as you, as you play through them, like you call out the notes and start to think about, especially, like I said, on the two middle strings. Um, just a side note, trying to memorize the fret markers on these two strings, very important, okay? F, G, A, B, F, G, A, B, okay? And then A sharp, C, D, E. A sharp C D E or B flat C D E. Everybody forgets those because again when we're making this D triad going here, that's a little bit easier because we go okay D E F sharp G sharp and then we know this string really easily because if we know this string we know this string so that goes to that goes to G, A, B, C sharp, okay? So as you're playing through, like I like to spend a lot of time also jamming over chord progressions, playing over like uh, just a simple thing like this. So I'm going to put this in your folder as well. I'm still recording this, but I'm going to take like a little jam track in the key of maybe I'll, let's see what this one sounds like. I can't remember. I think there was like a, yeah, I have a few of them saved here. This may be like more of a blues. Okay, it's just so, okay. So what I'll do is take G, so, That's another way that you can 
get used to playing uh, in the key of G. You just practice your first two degrees in the key of G. It also, with this jam track, it has the, the um, chords listed as they go to those chords. So you can also play the chords on top of it. You can also be uh, cognizant of which notes you're playing as you go to that chord. Like, do I want to highlight a G or a D note as I go to, as the chord progression switches? But, but this kind of stuff, like you can even slow it down in your settings, right? And just move it to like 50% and play very slowly. So you're playing over that because there is jam track. Yeah, you. So this is this is a just all of these are free. 